Okay, we're going to get ready to put our outlet up over here for the dryer. So first we'll get a nice solid place to mount it to. Okay, we'll fire way over. Okay, so now we can get our outlet on the board here. Put a nice big one in with a nice head for the ground. Okay. 
Okay, now we can put our uh, three quarter inch uh, Romex connector on here. This is 10 to 3, 30, 240 volt circuit. We'll get our knife. our loop around that one big screw we put in here. And we'll tighten that screw up. And we'll leave some slack here. this up, we'll get it in the bag where it's out of the way of everything out there. Okay, now white is our neutral, it goes down here on our bottom pin, so I'll put it right here. Strip for their number 10 hole.
electro neutral wire on the center one here. That copper comes down through the terminal. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now we're going to red down through here like this. And we'll cut it so it's on the bottom of the terminal there. And we'll strip it number 10 hole. so it's making a good contact. Make sure we don't get insulation pinched under there. Back to shorten that up just a bit. Just a little bit more, not a lot, a tiny bit. down the bathroom mirror for me. Yes. Here's our red. Now we're going to do our black, which is our other live wire. Black is live, the red is live, and our white is the neutral, and our bare ground wire is around the screw with a big fat head on it, and you can see we folded the slack up in the top so it's out of the way. So that is how to wire a 220-240 volt uh, dryer receptacle here in the country I was born in. If it's a three prong, we use our double pole uh, 220-240 volt breaker. It's number 10 American wire gauge on 30 amps. Red and black are alive. The white is neutral. And bare wire is the ground. Peace. Thanks for watching.